I uh, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, practice 13. Um, you know, I kind of think it's, a, you know, we're in the heydays of camp right now. Uh, we've got six in a row with a scrimmage on Sunday. Um, so, to me, this is that one. We go out in pads today. we got to get a good one in. Tomorrow we shells, then spiders, and then put the pads back on. But uh, we try to wean into it with, you know, three practices and a day off and all that stuff. So, um, the guy's going to have to push through it. Everybody's got bumps and bruises this time of the year. And uh, um, we need to have a good day. Questions? It seems like coming out of spring ball and entering fall camp, Nate uh, had the upper hand on Eli in that quarterback battle. Is, is that still the case? Um, I'd say that, you know, again, you can say upper hand, like, you know, what's the percentage? You know, uh, I think, you know, anytime there's a period of time where something is finished, um, you know, you finish spring ball, you know, that, hey, this is, this is the guy. And you, you know, and then, but then you go into another period, okay? You, you know, you come out of, you know, fall camp, you're going to, you know, do the same thing. So, um, and that's at every position. You can be a starter at the end of spring ball. It doesn't mean, you know, you're a starter. That's every position. I'm not talking about the quarterback, but, you know, there's a battle going on there, right? And I think they're both pressing. They're both, you know, um, you know, working at it, like working the tails off, you know, coming in late, spending more time just to, to be the best. And, you know, sometimes that can pay off. Sometimes it can backfire on you a little bit. Um, but you know we're seeing them compete every day. I love the, I love the competition. You gotta love what you see out there. You got two really good quarterbacks, you know, uh, battling. Um, and uh, you know, so I don't know if I answered your question, but we we have a good battle going so on. So you're undecided on naming a starter for Kent State. I'm saying that we're continuing to evaluate every day. Okay. Given, given the QB situation, how it unfolded last year and the competition going on now. Has there been talk about how long the leash you give a starter this year? Is that something you talk about with Kate Bell? Yeah, we've talked about it. Like, you know, um, you know, and I, and I trust Kate. Um, but, you know, you live and learn. You think about things, you, you live and learn. And, and uh, sometimes you can trust too much in this world. And, and uh, you know, I'll be on top of it. Okay, I'll be on top of it. Is there a deadline where you feel like you need to make that decision in order to give the guy enough reps to get ready for, for Kent State? Time? Not really. They're getting a ton of reps out there with the ones and the twos, and we're mixing it up and all that. So, they, and they're, you know, the receivers, you know, with the way we rotate our receivers, they're getting timing with everybody. I mean, they've timed up with everybody. So, um, again, Nate's our starter right now, and there's a battle going on. What, what have you seen from Eli in terms of upside? Like, what are the things that he does well that really jump out to you? Um, you know, the, the one thing he can really run, I mean, I think, uh, you know, he, he, you know, and again, not, you know, if we put him on the race here, you know, you know, Eli might beat him by 10 yards or I mean, 10, 10 feet, whatever, you know, who knows how far it is. Uh, you know, I don't think we tested him in a 40 yard dash this summer. So, you know, I, I would say just his athletic ability, his, you know, maybe what he does in the pocket might give him that advantage. Okay. Um, and then you look at you know Nate the advantages he's played in, in ball games and and, um, and and we know what he does when the lights turn on too. You uh, you brought in Josh McCarty from Eastern Michigan this yes. year. I think he had a reputation for special teams. Is that is he going to help you uh, on that level? Yeah, that's why you know he wanted to transfer here. He looked at a couple other ACC schools, visited Miami, and, and decided to come here. Great kid, love him, and uh, great question. We haven't really talked much about him. Um, you had Ben banged up a little bit in mid 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 camp, but uh, he's a, he's a football player, and uh, we, we expect to you know to, to get work out of him for sure. What about Chandler Booker? What's been the outlook on him this this camp? Um, you know he's he he's shown spurts. Um, still working on the knowledge. You talk about you know you know we talk all the time about effort, toughness, knowledge, um, and uh, you know obviously attitude. He's got a good attitude. Just you know wanting to get out there every play and go and. Uh, you know, for young guys, sometimes it's, you know, uh, it's hard. Um, but he shows spurts of, you know, being able to help us as well. Let's take a couple we're waiting. More. We're waiting. I, we got, you know, five guys. We're like, okay, we can, we're looking for that sixth guy, that seventh guy, that eighth guy. <laughs> and he's got a chance to get in that window. But, uh, you know, practice 13, what do you got today? Now, let's say two more, Jerry, you're first. How much uh, work have you guys been doing on Kent State, if any, right? At this Zero. Time? Zero. When, when, when did it start? Um, I don't know. Um, we could play by year, but, you know, the, we have to worry about Pitt first. Okay, uh, you know, right now we got to make sure Pitt doesn't beat Pitt. We're worried about what Pitt is doing, and when we're done working on Pitt, and when we feel comfortable, okay, this is it. Then we'll start to work on Kent. But uh, you know, the focus is on Pitt right now. What kind Good of question, Jerry. I like that question. What kind of camp has Caleb Junko had so far? Whoo, boy. You know, I don't know. If, you know, you guys stand on the side. I watch. We do punt early, um, and you guys get to see a little bit. But uh, I would say he's had a, you know, he's had a phenomenal camp. I would say, you know. Um, he has separated himself. Um, again, Coach Perot, 
Um, I give him, the, you know, the, the credit. He's gotten him right during the summer. His mind's right. I don't know if you guys heard. He went down to a kicking competition this summer. I think that really helped him a lot. He gets a bunch of, you know, other punters down south somewhere. I don't know, you know, Chris, you probably know more about that crap than I do. Um, <clears throat> I didn't go, but I guess he won the competition. And uh, I think he came back with a lot of confidence. Again, that's a, again, that's a tribute to what Coach Bro and Danny Orock have done with him during the summer. Um, and uh, he's just consistent. You know, his stance is different. His 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 drop has been consistent. Which you know, it's all in the drop. How you drop that ball? You know, it's hard to. You know, it's like golf, right? I mean, you can swing it different every darn time. I got a problem with that. But when you you know, his drop is better. He's consistent. He's having a heck of a camp. I mean, yesterday we had two punt periods. You know, regular one you guys may have seen early. And then later on we had a pooch one. He put you know two pooch punts inside the ten yard line. We didn't even need the gunners. He's, he's dropping them in there like that. Thank you very much. He could be a weapon. Thank you.